slimy little snake. You're still seeing Julie. Hello? Mr. Garrison, it's Dr. Hayes. Well, hello. Do you seem chipper? I am. What can I do for you? Well, I'd like to see you, if possible. Why, Doc? Are you having problems? I have time right now, if you're free. Actually, I'm just on my way out to see some. Your wife? Yeah, how'd you know? Why don't you stop by on your way over there? All right. I'll be there in a while. Oh. What the devil is that all about? Looks like you're going out. I am. Uh, can we talk first? Kind of a hurry. This won't take long, Clark. All right. What is it? Uh, it's about those airline tickets. Oh, look, I'm sorry about those. I'll pay you back, all right? Oh, when? Clark, how? As soon as I can get my hands on some cash. Do you know how much those tickets cost me, Clark? They were first class reservations for an around the world trip. My retirement. My savings, everything I had, I put into that trip, Clark. For you. For us. What can I tell you? I can't pay you money I don't have. I don't want the money, Clark. What do you want? A date. A date? Yeah, I, uh, I managed to convince the airlines to let me reschedule the trip. With no penalties, Clark. It took some doing. You couldn't get a refund? Non-refundable tickets. I, I need yours, oh, by the way. It's on the table. I've got an appointment. I've really got to get Clark, it. look, I just... Just give me a date. I've got to let them know today. Julie. Clark, I have thousands of dollars wrapped up in these tickets. All I am asking is for you to tell me when you can make this trip. All right. We'll talk about it when I get back. How long are you going to be gone? Not long. Wait for me here. You wanted to see me about my wife? I need some information about that relationship, Clark. Why? Because you're a patient of mine. And that information is pertinent to your therapy. I don't get it. Why are we getting into this now? The last time we talked, you led me to believe that you very much wanted your marriage back. I do. For the sake of your work. It's not just about my work. I mean, it's... My wife. I married her. I have a lot invested in that relationship. That doesn't ring true. What do you want from me? I keep telling you the truth. Well, isn't that why I see you? To discover the truth? Are you telling me that you're really not sure why you want Sally back? It's a fair assessment, yes. Does Sally know that? I don't know. I haven't asked her. Have you told her, Clark? I don't understand, Doc. Why are you on my case about this? Because you're not being honest with me. About what? About how you feel about your wife. You're playing games with me, Clark. Games? Yes. You're leading me to believe that you have only the best intention with regard to your marriage. But I don't think that's true. What are your intentions? If you should win her back. Someone's been talking to you. Who is it, Dr. Hayes? The Someone came by to see you. I want to know who it is. All right, yes. Someone spoke to me. And what did this person tell you? In so many words? That you're taking advantage of a pregnant woman who's very vulnerable, and you're doing that because you're broke, you're burnt out, and you don't feel that you have any other course to take? Who the hell said this? Is it not true? No, it's not true. All right, then that brings us right back to your intentions. What the hell difference do my intentions make? You're my therapist, not my conscience. This is part of your therapy, Clark. What you're doing is not healthy. 
Sally's quite capable of taking care of herself. Oh, I'm not talking about Sally. I'm talking about you. If you're not in love with this woman, yet you pursue the relationship, then I have to question your sense of self. I feel fine about myself. And when my marriage is back on track, I'll feel even finer. Why? Why what? Why does your marriage have so much bearing on the way you feel about yourself? It's part of me. I don't want to fail at it. Doesn't that make any sense? Of course it makes sense, if that's the way you really feel. But I seem to get this feeling that your marriage means something completely different to you. Like what? A company, a business, a means by which to gain professional respect and recognition. Isn't that why you want your marriage back? It really has nothing to do with sharing or children or even your relationship with your wife. Isn't that true? Be honest. So you and Macy can harangue me with your moralistic platitudes? That's who came by to see you. Macy Forrester. Be honest. I'm not going to be moralistic with you, Clark. All I'm trying to do is get you to admit why you do the things that you do. I'm not passing judgment on any of this. Self-honesty, my friend, is all we're trying to accomplish here. Nothing more, nothing less. Think about that. You can make an appointment with the receptionist if you do want to see me again. Excuse me. Macy. If she came by to see you, Doc, she'd do anything. I'm not so sure I am. Listen to me. I want you to leave the apartment. Don't take the elevator, use the back stairs, and go out the back way. What? Just do it, Julie. Leave. Now. Why? Because someone's trying to trap me. And if I'm not mistaken, they're out front watching the building. So go on, get a move on. Clark, wait a minute. Who are they? There's no time for questions. Just do what I tell you. Well, what about the trip? What trip? What trip? Clark, the trip we were supposed to talk about when you got back. Oh, that. Now, look, we'll deal with that later. Clark, I have to make those reservations today. Julie, just do what I'm telling you to do. Don't blow this one for me. Julie's still up there, Clark. I know you'll be back sooner or later. I'll be waiting for you, Macy.
All right, Clark. Let's see you wiggle out of this one. You are. Is it tonight? I'd really like to take you out dancing. Julie. Julie, you in here? Julie? Julie? Good. She's gone. Hello, Clark. Um, wow, what a surprise. Isn't it, though? Oh, uh, what can I do for you? Aren't you going to ask me in? Why do you want to come in? Why don't you want me to come in, Clark? Well, the place is really a mess. I... Oh, I don't mind, Clark. I do. Now, Clark, I'm not going to think badly if it's messy. Actually, it's, it's not that bad. Unless, of course, you're talking about the bedroom. Oh, that really is a mess. I wouldn't want to go in there. There's someone in there, isn't there, Clark? Uh, in the bedroom? Uh-huh. Oh, why would someone be in the bedroom? It's showtime, Clark. Oh, and you look disappointed. I saw her enter the building, Clark. You had to go out the back way, didn't you? Why, whomever could you be talking about, Macy, darling? <laughs> what, nothing to tell your mommy about? It's a real shame. All right, Clark. I'll concede this one to you. But you'll slip up. You always do. I would love to sit around and talk to my favorite stepdaughter, but... I've got to go see my wife. You know where the door is. See yourself out. The coffee's still warm. Oh, yeah, the cup's mine. You want some? Oh, it's yours, huh? Yeah. Got that right, sugar. What kind of lipstick are you wearing these days, Clark? Tattletail red? You'll never change, Clark. Macy! There's no explanation. Don't even bother. Damn you, Julie. You did that on purpose. <laughs>